Really, I have no idea. <laughs> I wasn't exactly paying attention. I was writing something, so... I don't know, Gibinier, do you have a guess? If one and a half geese can lay one and a half egg in one and a half day, how many does three geese lay in eight days? Just a moment. And let me think if you think I can. Oh, by the way, I never mentioned what the title of the book was. Oh, what is it? it is. The Jungle of Horrors. Great. Great. I don't okay. know, uh, 24, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. Why could it not be the... Why could it not be the battlefields of Happy Fun Time? Well, if one, if one and a half geese can lay one and a half... Well, either the answer is you can have one and a half geese and you can have one and a half egg or um, a simple map which means we are gonna end up at 24 I'll say yeah. yeah no no wait a minute that's not correct that is not correct That is not correct. You have to divide with one and a half too because you just. Oh, wow, is that? Yeah, I'm not very good at trick questions, so. Uh, well, the hell is my calculator? So, <laughs> I guess we'll be right back, people. Right, we're back. And your final answer is. Well, none of us is good at math, but. Um... But. I'm good at math, but I'm not good at trick questions. So, what is your answer? Let's try 16. Please do before I feel like strangling the first goose I see. Well, that is wrong. Of course it is. The actual answer is 7. Hmm. Like I said, I'm not bad at math. I'm average at math. I'm bad at trick questions. No, actually, wait, I'm wrong. It's 59. Them geese be busy. Oh, is it? Wait, how many f riddles is this guy going to give? Hang on! <laughs> what is in that? Stop! All of the riddles! <laughs> I wish the damn thing would just... Apparently this guy's going to give you multiple riddles and this thing doesn't link to the correct answer so I had to find the answer. Alright, what was your answer before? Seven. No, what was your answer first, given here? Sixteen. Then it's actually correct! Yay, I can do basic math. So what I earned my A or whatever. Sorry, I just kind of confused in all this. It's because of the way it's set up. There's not a direct link, so I have to look at the paths, if you will, of um, the game to see what... Uh, it's a long explanation, but basically I got some things mixed up. You call out your answer, and at first the man pretends not to hear. Hardly, he begins to pose a second puzzle, but the crowd shouts him down, insisting that he answer your call. Unlucky, a lucky guess, he says a little flustered at the thought of losing 20 loon. How's that frankly explain how he arrived at his answer? You reply that the answer is simple. If one and a half geese lay one and a half egg in one and a half days, it therefore falls with three geese would lay three eggs in one and a half day, and two eggs in one day. Thus, in eight days, three geese would lay 16 eggs. The exactly. The crowd applaud your display of logic, much to the chagrin of Count Conundrum, who passed reluctantly with 20 loon. And they go in your belt pouch. 20 loon takes up the same space as 5 gold crowns. Fuck. 
five gold crowns. No, twenty loon. All right. But they take up as much space as five gold crowns. Oh dear! All these values, all these systems. But if it helps, you can always just say twenty loon and then put five gold crowns in a parenthesis. All right. Okay. Okay. That actually helps. That actually helps. It means less work for me, and as you know, I do not like work. Yeah. Very well, says Count Conundrum. Just to make our journey to far a little more interesting, if there's anyone here who can answer my next puzzle correctly, they will receive from me forty loon. A chorus of delighted whispering emanates from the crowd. In winter, he begins, the ice lilies of Lake Arthur double in area every 24 hours. It takes 60 days from the time the first ice lily appears until the lake is completely covered with them. And what day is the lake half covered with lilies? Excuse me? Eh? Eh? In winter, he begins, the ice lilies of Lake Adan double in area every 24 hours. It takes yeah. 60 days from the time the first ice lily appears until the lake is completely covered with them. On what day is the lake half covered with lilies? Like I said, I'm not good at trick questions, so you guys are gonna to have to have to answer this one. Then I have to pass it over to give any. I just had a brain fart. <laughs> oh dear, it's one of those lovely things again. It's, it, it's not. It's not. It actually has a devilish simple answer, I reveal that much. Can we not at least take the price at sword point? Oh, okay. no, we can't. If I was supposed to, if I was, was to make a guess, I'd say 30? 30? Yeah, didn't you say it would take 6 days for it to be fully covered? 60. Yeah, uh, 60. Yep, and they double in area every 24 hours. Oh. Okay, well it helps to have the right number. I thought you said 16. Stop it. Mm. Well, if it doubles, then... I like to admire the fact that Givinia and Warlord are still going at it. My yeah. IQ are falling out of my nose at the moment. I guess I'll just cut the camera for now. Yeah, okay. We have an impossible answer here. What did you come uh, come to? 59. And why was that? Because if it doubles in an in amount of lilies every day, then it will cover half the lake the day before it covers all of it. What little color there is in the Count's already pallid face drains away. The crowd hoots with delight as he nods his head slowly to affirm that your answer is correct. As the ice lilies double in number each day, the lake is half covered on the day before it is fully covered. Begrudgingly, the Count hands over your prize, 40 loon, which is the equivalent to 10 gold crowns. So that's 15 we have now of, yeah, loons. And finally, for my last puzzle, I offer this beautiful treasure, he says, as he draws a small silver box inlaid with pearls from the pocket of his robe. This priceless artifact was stolen from the treasure hoard of Valpor the Enchanter. No. He exclaims. On hearing this wondrous revelation, the taproom comes alive with exciting chatter. You are inclined to disbelieve a tale of the box origin, but nevertheless it is a beautiful object and is undoubtedly worth at least a hundred loon, perhaps more. Sounds to send on the whole this all awaits the Count's final puzzle. When I was last in the market of Garthen, the Count begins, I asked an egg trader how many eggs he had sold that day. He replied, My first customer said that he would buy half my eggs and half an egg more. 
My second and third customer said exactly the same thing. When I had filled all three orders, I was completely sold out of eggs, and yet I hadn't broken a single egg all day. How many eggs had the egg trader sold in all? Didn't he just say he hadn't sold any? He was completely sold out. Yes, after serving servicing three customers, who each asks to for half his eggs, plus. Wait. My first customer said that he would buy half my eggs and half an egg more. My second and third customer said exactly the same thing. When I had filled all three orders, I was completely sold out of eggs, and yet I hadn't broken a single egg all day. Hmm. So, how many eggs had you sold? Maybe we should cut the camera again and think about it. Okay. Back. They figured out the riddle because I accidentally mentioned the number before. But they did figure out how it worked on their own because at least I could demand that. So yeah, it's seven because, well, half of seven is three and a half plus half an egg. That's four and so on. So, I yeah. I still cannot really figure out what you're going to do with half an egg. Well, well, none of them well, bought well, half, them an egg. half an egg, dude. Listen. One bought four, one bought two, and one bought one. Why yes. he went to the market with only seven eggs is anyone's guess. He probably didn't have more. In any case, the count looks flabbergasted when you call out the correct answer. Dejectedly, he hands over a beautiful silver box and quietly leaves the hold, oblivious to the cheers of the passengers who have seen him meet his match at last. If you wish to keep the silver box, mark it on your action chart as a backpack item. Well, we have room in our backpack, don't we? Let me have a look at that. So, ow, sorry, I just need to sit down again. Honey Lodge! Shout for Bargy. Bargy. Fire Minister Honey Lodge! A group of farmers near you gather up their belongings, say farewell to their traveling companions, and begin climbing the tap room stairs as the barge slows to a halt. Do you wish to go up on the deck and watch them disembark, or would you rather stay in, in the tap room? Either is fine by me. It's up to you two. That's just... I don't know. Ah, what do you want to do? I want to do what everyone else want to do, so God I suppose that... God fucking means. damn it! Why do you choose? <laughs> okay, we stay. And to what do we owe the honor of your visit to Faro? asks Trost the soldier in a polite but inquisitive tone. It's on the way to Ziada, replies Pana. We are going there in search of some work. We heard about the attack on Lucas, and we reckon there'll be a few rich farmers there who will pay handsomely for us to retake the interest. Trost chuggles and rubs his stubble the chin. I mean no offense, but if Sacron and his rabble attack the farms near Ziada, it'll take more than two freelancers to turn their tails. If I were you, I'd stay in Faro. There's plenty of work there for the likes of you. Take my advice and leave Sacron to the army. We'll blunt his nose, don't you worry.